Hello everybody, this is Charles of First Auto Credit Paddle King Boats. Today I have the last of my 2021 Paddle King Low Pro Cruisers going out. This boat's going to be in the Nashville area. Uh, keep an eye out for it in your local lakes and rivers near the Nashville area. This particular boat is a 2021 Low Pro Cruiser Tri-Tune. I'll show you the third pontoon underneath. Propulsion wise we have it equipped with a 20 horsepower Tahatsu four stroke fuel, in, fuel injected engine. Back here, I have it set up with a Minn Kota deck can 40. There is an anchor that goes with this, but that anchor is actually stowed away for traveling. We are delivering it as well. You'll notice on the back, we have the cleats installed on the back railing there, and I'll walk around the boat and go through some of the features. This customer opted for the floor plan number two. Let me walk around. A breakaway tongue to fit in his garage for his HOA. And as we go up and to the interior of the boat, the floor plan two has two swivel seats. We have the table here. We have the floor mount for the table as well, and it's accessible for all the occupants in the boat in the center. And here you'll notice, I wanted to point these out. These are the mooring poles. Every Paddle King boat that you buy comes with a mooring cover with three poles as well. Underneath here, we have a dry storage box. And here we have the bimini top, which is not in place now. That'll be installed on site. And then we also have the boot for the bimini, and along with the mooring cover itself that the poles go with. So walking back, you can see our speaker set up here. We have the kicker six and a halfs. We got the gray on gray, and they're two different color gray tones, so they work really well together. My customer also opted for a side lounge addition to this on the live well. And underneath here, you can see we have a little bit of paperwork there, and that, that's the actual boot itself. Now coming back, I'll check underneath the rear seat here. This is how we like to set them up. We have the Interstate 27 series battery, Minn Kota single bank charger. That's our fuel hose, it's not connected. The fuel tank itself. Then over here, we'll look at our functions. We have the MB Court radio head unit, which I like because it has a Rolodex interface. And then under here, we have switches. We have our horn. We have our under deck LEDs, which you can see right there at night it's way better i got the shop lights on just so it can have a quality video here interior lighting here I have them mounted next to the rear exit gate the live well and the dry storage box and of course we have our headlights so that way you can see out front where you're going we call them docking lights. They're really good for seeing. It's a 90 degree flood pattern. They're 1360, I believe, lumens per. And that allows you to see at night. Like I mentioned in a previous video, you can use them for jugging, just general navigation at night. If you get stuck out there too long, you can take your time getting back. Spot If you're on a river especially, you can look for deadheads, floating trees, etc. Then we have the Lowrance. This is our screen protector here. We're going to leave it for the trip. It's wired in, ready to go. It's a Lowrance Hook 2 4X, which means it has a 4-inch screen on it. Then we have our navigation lights and our bilge. And our bilge is set up to where instead of bringing water out of the boat, we're bringing water into the boat to feed our trolling motor. And what I'll do real quick, I'm going to turn on our underdeck LEDs. Turn on all of them. Okay, this is our fire extinguisher that we add as well. On our deckhand 40, we do have the remote switch option. I do include this just because it's extremely handy. You click down and that switch stays. So that drops the anchor, the anchor drops down, and then it leaves you with a slack line with a resistance switch. Once your anchor hits the bottom of the lake or pond that you are fishing, you come to a slow stop. Turn the switch back to a neutral position and it is locked. 
that's how you can come to a slow stop. So coming out of the front of the boat, you can see the interior here. And we're gonna go down these steps, which are important. I always suggest people have these steps if you can get them. And here you'll see our underdeck LEDs, the blue LEDs along with our Heiss three inch pods. Now this is a discontinued item. They are gonna have a replacement. I don't know what the part number is going to be yet, but there is gonna be a replacement number for that. But this way you can see the LEDs, the blue LED underdeck lights. It casts a wonderful light on the water, especially at night. If you're in clear water as well, it looks amazing. I'll go around to the back one more time, show you a quick walk around. The floor plan too specifically, I'm gonna move this paperwork here. The floor plan too specifically has a rear exit gate and a ladder as well, the three-step ladder to allow you to get out. On a Minn Kota deck hands, how we mount them, uh, these typically come with wires hanging out and everything. I like a clean mount. So if you look here, there's no wire, wires hanging anywhere. Everything's uh, hidden. It's low profile to where that way whenever you have it set up, it looks 100% factory. And the charcoal and black really pops. Just going to quick walk around of this boat here. Thank you guys for viewing these videos. If you have questions, uh, this is the last boat of my 2021 inventory going out. So everything from here on out is going to be 2022. They're doing a little bit of change up on their color options and their how they arrange the colors on here. Some colors are getting discontinued. Some are getting continued. If you have any questions on those, please give me a call. 573-204-7777. And of course, you can always email me, charles at firstautocredit.com. Thank you so much for viewing the video. You'll have a great evening. God bless.